daratumumab. There's been, this is approved now in uh, relapsed refractory disease in the United States. I think we've all got some experience using it. Quickly moving into earlier lines of therapy, and there have been two phase three trials that have been, one will be presented at this ASCO meeting, and one at the upcoming European Hematology Association meeting. Raphael, do you want to set the stage for us and tell the audience about those trials and what, what they've told us? If I'm going to talk about Daratuma, I'm going to say hang on to your seats because this is coming very fast and this is going to revolutionize how we treat myeloma. So two trials have been presented, one here at the ASCO meeting, the CASTOR trial. We haven't seen the data, so we have the public press release that shows that the study had to be stopped because of efficacy with a hazard ratio that is really unprecedented in most of the myeloma trials. And just as if nothing, next week comes another press release regarding the EHA presentation that Thanos Imopoulos will do um, in combination with image. This was, was v, VD versus uh, daratumumab VD. The other one is, is uh, Lendex versus Lendex plus daratumumab. It seems to be almost a mirror study. So uh, daratumumab, for those in the audience who don't know this, the target CD38 is a naked antibody. Uh, like every antibody, there's, there's uh, several mechanisms that have been proposed. The bottom line, it works very, very well. Um, and and I'll, I'll say I, I have had the opportunity to use this now in the practice, both a single agent as well as uh, off-label and combination, and particularly the combinations are quite impressive. The depth of the response for patients who haven't responded to any agent. So um, I think the anticipation, of course, we'll see the trials, it will get the label for these combinations, but ultimately this will be one of several antibodies, and I'd be remiss in not mentioning is atuximab as well too at some point, but there are two of them will be in the front line pretty soon. Ola? I agree with uh, Rafael. This is, uh, this is revolution for myeloma uh, therapy for sure. Uh, I have used it uh, also quite a lot. I've used it single drug. I've also used it off-label in combination with uh, lenalidomide dexamethasone, also with pomalidomide dexamethasone. In my experience, patients that are heavily pretreated, there were virtually no other drugs work. You can see up to 60% of those patients having a good response. In the combinations, uh, in but the not single agents, a little bit lower. In the right? range of 30%, uh, yeah. which is what the studies have showed so far. And it seems to last for a very long time. Uh, that was one of the impressive things with the single agent results. It's not so much that there was a 30% response rate, but the overall survival in those patients who were very heavily pretreated was, what, 18 months? Or yeah, something, something like average, that. Yeah, average. It's, it's very, very so, impressive. Which for other studies has been more in the six-month range. Right. right. So I, don't, I think my readout is that uh, we know that the three-drug combinations for relapse is better than two-drug. And we talked about if you use upfront, if you do V or D or K or D, if you use as I would do K or D, you ask me what happened when you relapse on rev maintenance. I could see using daratumumab in combination uh, with an image and dexamethasone could be definitely a rescue uh, for many patients in the future. So I tend Very to impressive results. You know, they, they looked to me almost as if the, um, uh, because it's already public in the abstract, the, the combination of lenalidomide with daratumumab looked as good or perhaps even better than what we showed in the Aspire trial with carfilzomib lenalidomide. What, so, what impact is this going to have? I, I agree in principle that I think this is an exciting new drug. I think it's going to be in, incorporated into all the different lines of therapy. I was a bit conservative with just the Ceres data last year because I think that the progression free survival is still, you know, in the three sure. plus seven months, which is similar to what we saw with carfilzomib and others. Yeah. So, you know, as a single agent, you know, I was a little bit cautious saying it's an exciting new drug, an option, but let's wait till we get some more. Now I'm going to take the same stance when we talk about this phase three data. I'm very excited about You're it. You're Mr. Conservative today. Unlike you. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason I'm conservative is because of the follow-up. And that's what I think is the power of these immunotherapies. And so when you look at the uh, follow-up for the Pollock study with Lendex, it's only a 21-month follow-up. Yeah, that's sure. a short follow-up. The power of these immunotherapies is, quite frankly, going to be in a long-term follow-up. And so when you can see with, for example, the elotuzumab with a long-term three-year follow-up and seeing that maintenance in the plateau phase, that is the power of these Those curves are pretty far apart, Phil. I mean, it's hard to imagine them. I agree. I fully agree. I'm just trying to be the devil's advocate, devil's advocate saying that short follow up. The power of that drug, and I'm not agreeing that, I'm not saying it's not a bad drug now. I think it's a great drug. I think it's going to be even better with long term follow up, is my point. It's a great okay. drug, but it's going to be even better with long term follow up. And that's my only Bill, point. what do you think? Are we going to be, is this rituximab for myeloma? <laughs> uh, I, I think that's a very good analogy. I think that this will enable us to construct essentially an R chop regimen for myeloma. But 
We're also going to see it used, I think, in other areas. It's going to be used in maintenance trials, I think, and where it could be very active in that situation as well. So I think these are, these are the beginning of these immunotherapies and really a breakthrough for us in the treatment of myeloma. Do you think, we don't have much upfront data yet, I don't believe. None that, that I'm aware of. But trials uh, are ongoing, right? Yes. Do you think these trials, from what you've seen, will result in an approval and we'll be using daratumab in first relapse? Oh, I think so, yeah. Absolutely. Any other comments? It's like a slam dunk for uh, daratumab here. It looks great. I think it's very, very exciting.